Hello and welcome back. It's been a long time coming, but Microsoft has finally updated Microsoft Teams to not only have a background blur, but to allow you to select other backgrounds, which you can impose to hide your scruffy workspace. Let's find out how. Okay, so this has been a thing that's been long time coming, a long time coming. In the past, you've had to use software such as ChromaCam, which has allowed you to put different backgrounds to replace the background of your current live workspace. But now within Microsoft Teams, this functionality has now been rolled out. How are we gonna do it? Well, let's just do a quick meet now. And here we are, here is my my very busy workspace. Uh, so that might not be very conducive to holding business meetings. Moving the mouse around, we're gonna hit on the three dots, more actions. We're gonna say show background effects. Now in the past that would have said blur background. So show background effects. The side screen pops out from the side. We have good old blur, which we can apply to blur the background. Or we can select from a variety of preloaded Microsoft Teams backgrounds. A little bit of Minecraft, for example. And it moves quite well as I move my head and the room is quite well lit. It does operate on the same premise as what ChromaCam did. No green screen involved um, and it does give quite a good effect. Some I think are better than others. For example, this does look quite good and depending on a smaller screen, I think it'll look quite good as well in effective meetings. Now, this is what everyone's asking. So, it's a lovely old selection of background settings here, but how do I get my own pictures to be displayed in the background settings? Well, I'll show you how. Okay, so as we mentioned, we wanna put our own picture um, and not select any of the lovely predefined ones that Microsoft have put in for us, even though they are quite colorful. So we're gonna go down to the search bar we're going to type in the following app data slash Microsoft Teams slash background slash uploads. We're going to hit enter. That pops up an Explorer window. So we'll move that just to the side here. Now, what you can do here is you can put any decent picture you've got in there as well. So let's open up another window. So we'll have them side by side. Memorize it a little bit. We'll go into pictures where I got some collaboration kernel stuff. And I think what we'll do, we'll put in a high res one. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our app data folder. Let's do a bit of copying and a bit of pasting. And that'll be done. Let's cancel the feed. Back into Meet Now. Click the three dots, show background effects. And there you go. There's our own collaboration kernel background. Good, eh? Now it's showing as reverse for me, but when people see it, it'll be the right way around. So pretty good stuff. And you can still select all the other wonderful ones that Microsoft have put in. Oh, you can have a good bit of Star Wars because we all like a little bit of Star Wars. Right, thanks very much for watching. Check back for more videos in the series and I'll see you soon.